the Olympic Games begin here on KWWL in just eight days now. Now, the sport of golf returned to the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro in 2016. That's right, Abby. In fact, now there's a brand new effort, though, currently in progress to make golf a sport in the Paralympics as well. The games for athletes who face physical challenges. A golfing movement is underway, one which would add golf to the Paralympics. Hey, and that excites golfers like Corey Watson, who's the president of the Iowa Amputee Golf Association. We're incredibly excited. 30 years for this organization is, is quite a milestone. Born without a left arm, Corey is an outstanding golfer. And the Charles City native is one who believes that because of the athleticism and skill of the players, golf deserves to be a Paralympic sport. The sport itself is really growing uh, in, the, in the adaptive golf space. And so what I've been doing is encouraging people to go out and, and read about it on the internet and, and get involved with it on social media. The movement would impact men and women golfers like Beth Shelton. Beth is CEO of the Girl Scouts of Greater Iowa. And would it make sense to have a version for Paralympics or people that are missing limbs or have limb differences? My answer would be yes. So yes to the Olympics, yes to the Paralympics for golf. I think that spending a day on a course like this when you see people that maybe do have a limb difference or physical barrier and they're out there sometimes shooting par golf and making the very best of the situations they've been given, sometimes at birth and sometimes late in life. We have people that have been adjusting for 60 years, we have people that have been adjusting for six months, and they do an incredible job. Well-known Cedar Valley golfer and amputee Steve Husum of Cedar Falls just won the Senior Division Championship at the Iowa Amputee Golf Association Tournament in West Des Moines. Steve is founder of Adaptive Golf Iowa. Uh, Adaptive Golf Iowa is, uh, is a nonprofit that I started in our area in Waterloo Cedar Falls to, uh, to just introduce people with disabilities to the game of golf and using golf as therapy to overcome a lot of challenges that they might have in their life. It won't be for this year in Tokyo, but many believe it's just a matter of time before golf becomes an official sport in the Paralympics. There oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. You know, I'd love to see it. I really would. Um, I'd love to play in it someday. Yeah, Corey Watson is among many. He is a great golfer, too, by the way. He was an outstanding athlete up at Charles City High School. But he's among, among many who hope that golf can become a Paralympic sport, Abby, in time for the Paris Games coming up in 2024.